was like the 1970 Chilean presidential election, becoming the first leftist to be elected to liberal democracy in a free election. He received 36% of the vote, and because he did not get 50% of the vote, he was elected by a majority of the National Congress in Chile. Salvador Guillermo Allende Gossens was born in 1908, and throughout his life, he was involved with socialist politics in Chile, eventually winning in 1970. He was considered a moderate compared to other socialists in the world, however his election was a cause of fear by the US. President Nixon feared it would become another Cuba and called for a coup by the state over for Allende, however it never came into action. The US government began to fund opposition to the Allende government with sanctions and support for and they gave sanctions and support for conservative opponents. Allende, meanwhile, promised the Chilean path to socialism, a nationalization of industry, as well as, a more, as well as more government spending on education, nationwide food distribution to the poor, as well as food to working class populations. He also raised wages for an increased minimum wage. In June of 1973, Colonel Sipero led Carrick to the government. He was backed by the fact of a vast organization in the nation of Partia y Libertad. This is called the Tanque of Castro, or the Tank Coup, that's Rala La Moneda, the office of the President of Chile. However, it was put, put down by the military soon afterward. During this time, the U.S. had been willing to create opposition for economic and monetary support. They wanted a new government to lead the mil- by the military to take over. On August 22nd, the Chamber of Deputies passed a resolution that called for the Ende government to step down. Ende then said, I stand never before as Chile had a more democratic government to which I have the honor to preside. At 7 a.m. on September 11, 1973, the Navy captured the capital of the city of. The rest of the military then closed every media outlet in the country by force. The coup was led by Augusto Pinochet, commander chief of the military. Then, within a few hours, the institute control of every major city. He then threatened to bomb the palace if Allende did not leave office. However, he refused to stay, and it was his duty to the people if, if he himself was elected president. Augusto Pinochet, the leader of the coup, was then ordered to fire to destroy the plane. What happened next was his last speech. This ensued one of the most famous moments in Chilean history. Have a listen.
el imperialismo unido a la reacción creó el clima para que las fuerzas armadas rompieran su tradición la que le, la que le enseñara a Schneider y que regimara el comandante Araya víctimas del mismo sector social que hoy estará en sus casas esperando con mano ajena reconquistar el poder para seguir defendiendo sus granjerías y sus privilegios me dirijo sobre todo a la modesta mujer de nuestra tierra a la campesina que creyó en nosotros a la obrera que trabajó más a la madre que supo nuestra preocupación por los niños me dirijo a los profesionales de la patria a los profesionales patriotas a los que hace días estuvieron trabajando contra la sedición auspiciada por los colegios profesionales colegios de clase para defender también las ventajas de la sociedad capitalista de los pocos me dirijo a la juventud aquellos que cantaron entregaron su alegría y su espíritu de lucha me dirijo al hombre de Chile al obrero al campesino, al intelectual aquellos que serán perseguidos porque en nuestro país el fascismo ya estuvo hace muchas horas presente en los atentados terroristas volando los puentes cortando la línea férrea destruyendo los oleoductos y los gasoductos frente al silencio de que tenían la obligación de la historia lo juzgará seguramente Radio Magallanes será callada y el mitad tranquilo de mi voz no llegará a ustedes no importa lo seguirán oyendo siempre estaré junto a ustedes por lo menos mi recuerdo que la era un hombre lindo que fue leal a la lealtad el pueblo debe defender pero no sacrificar el pueblo no debe dejarse arrasar ni equilibrar pero tampoco puede olvidar trabajadores de mi patria tengo fe en Chile y su destino superará otros hombres este momento gris y amargo donde la traición pretende imponer sigan ustedes sabiendo que mucho más temprano que tarde de nuevo abrirán las grandes alamedas por donde pase el hombre libre para construir una sociedad mejor viva Chile viva el pueblo vivan los trabajadores estas fueron mis últimas palabras y tengo la certeza de que mi sacrificio no se les pago tengo la certeza de que por lo menos será una lección moral que castigará la felonía la cobardía y la traición however it did not matter by 2.30, the defenders sur surrendered, and Ian Neves declared president dead by suicide as Pinochet became himself president. Ian Neves' death is shrouded in mystery, as for a long time, it was concluded that he committed suicide by AK-47, but reports in 2011 suggest that he may have been killed by a gun first, and made to look like a suicide. They left a Pinochet or the Act of Constitution, which suspended the Constitution, limited free speech, banned leftist political parties and created dictatorship under the ultranationalist Pinochet. Over the next few years, they arrested 40,000 leaders of political opposition. This was part of Operation Condor, backed by Henry Kissinger, and led to many deaths across South America. 3,000 of these deaths were in Chile, many gone to a death squad that executed hundreds of people by dropping them from helicopters. By 1990, there was a period of democracy and neoliberalism. With the world reforms and eventual elections, as well as the trial of Pinochet himself. Pinochet, however, died in 2006 before he could be sentenced by the Supreme Court of Chile. In 1973, may have debated Salvador Allende if his government would have changed for better or for worse. Many argue that it would have modeled the country after Cuba, while some see him as a martyr. 
a victim. In 2021, Gabriel Bullock for the Social Conservative Party was elected. He was only the second socialist since 1973 and secured the future of Chile by some. It will be this become the second and is the second youngest person in the world. He is also considered the second coming of Allende. It supports many of the same ideas. 2021 was also another successful free election in a country that has seen so much dictatorship. It's to lead for everyone. I know that in the coming years, Chile's future is at stake. So I guarantee you that I'll be a president that looks after democracy and not risk it. That takes care of what he says. That always looks for unity. That will attend to people's needs every day. That firmly stands up against the privilege. Abrirán las grandes alamedas por donde pase el hombre libre para construir una sociedad mejor. Viva Chile, viva el pueblo, vivan los trabajadores. Estas fueron mis últimas palabras. Tengo la certeza de que.